And if you can eat those two, I'll give you 500 bucks. The what? The two other pies? Yep. Uh, how do I get myself into situations like Here and it's good to be back. We're in Haines City, Haines City, Florida, outside the Proper Pie Company, Proper Pie Co. So this is a place I was in before, and we did the massive fish and chips challenge. And it was absolutely delicious. It was awesome. I really enjoyed all the items here. They have all the like good British confectionaries as well, the real kind of English British items. And now I've been to the UK a couple times. I kind of really do have a taste for some of the items, and they sell a lot of them here, like English mustard. Usually, I love English mustard. I may have some today. It may become a staple in my pocket, in my bag. It really has. But anyway, long story short, here we're to do a very, again, English, British challenge. But this time it involves pies. Well, it makes sense. I mean, it's the proper pie company. So this is the Knight's Quest Challenge, or something along those lines. So basically it is to eat, I think it's one of every one of their pies. I think it's 15, which is nuts. Now these are not the little mini pies. I had a little mini breakfast, uh, dessert pie here before. It is not this. This is the full size proper pies. Proper, proper pies, proper pie co. Makes sense. I think it's about a 110, maybe $120 value, something on those lines. I will double check on that. Um, but we do have 60 minutes or to get the meal for free. So I'm really hoping you do this. I'm not gonna lie guys, this is supposed to be over 10 pounds of pies. These things weigh about 12 ounces each. I'm legitimately not thinking I can do it. I have had the last couple weeks of not doing food challenges. This is my first time back doing food challenge in a long time. And I'm very nervous. I don't, I, I really actually, the chance of doing this is probably pretty slim. But why I'm doing it, because I love this place and I love their food and hey, Always down for some pies. It is winter season after all, and that's a very English thing to have pies in the winter, even if it looks like this in Florida right now and it's beautiful and sunny and I can wear shorts. So anyway, and that guy's head and has funny too. Gives more details and that was sweet. Alright everybody, so here are the night's quest. So I did clarify, $120 of pies here, everybody. So what I am definitely hoping we are going to be able to finish it. I have a huge variety. This is essentially the whole menu. They know also have some like little sweet pies. I don't have the sweet pies here in front of me, but I had one last time, maybe a couple last time. They were very, very delicious. So I got them to give me the little names because I'll definitely need it. So I have some chicken and leek. I have some beef hot pot, which I guess is kind of different beefs and sauces and gravies. Gravy is a big thing in the UK. I'm not the biggest gravy fan, but it is so traditional, I will get some gravy. I also have some English mustard. I love my English mustard, that's actually in my own collection. We have the shepherd's pie in a pie, which is basically shepherd's pie, like beef and potatoes and stuff in a pie. Um, and they make all the pastries here, and they look real delicious. I have the roast turkey and stuffing, that is a seasonal kind of exclusive. Love me turkey, that's one of my favorite items. I have a chicken curry. Curry is a, like, it's not an Indian style curry, it's an English style curry, but that is such a thing, like curry shops and whatever in England and British, in Britain. So I really like that they have kind of a, you know, a curry. Um, I have a chicken and mushroom. I have a steak, potato, onion, and cheese. There you go, all of the above. I have a steak and kidney, you know, that's very traditional. I've actually never eaten kidney before. Let me know what you think kidney down below. I've had liver. See if it's similar. I have a steak and mushroom, which is supposed to be very popular. I have a lemon chicken. I have a buffalo chicken. Oh, that's definitely a lot more American, but that actually is like a staff favorite by a lot of the favorites. Um, steak and ale, steak and beer, Guinness, in fact. Uh, we then have a barbecue pork, again, kind of a little bit more Americanized. Uh, beef and onion, and then chicken, broccoli, and cheese. So a large variety of both, I'd say, really kind of traditional English, British, and or kind of slightly more Americanized pies. Um, but yeah, like we said, 60 minutes. I gotta catch a flight, so we're gonna get started here. 
just momentarily. All right, everybody, so at that, I think we need to get rocking because we actually have to get rocking because I'm going to miss my flight. That being said, thanks everybody who came on out. We got a great showing here, so thank you, everybody. Really appreciate you guys. I'll tell you guys now, you're more than welcome to, you know, be normal. You don't have to hold your breath. And Except one time I said that and a lady barked like a dog. I don't appreciate that. Please don't bark like a dog. I didn't understand that. Don't know why that was. That being said, let's get rocking, guys. I'm undoing the belt right now. Woo! And um, let's get rocking. Oh, and they even have Crystal Hot Sauce, one of my favorite brands of hot sauce. I don't think hot sauce is overly traditional with pies, but I'll take it. And I did get some uh, traditional gravy. This is a English brand. What was the kind of gravy, my friend? Bisto. Bisto. So you know, gravy, meh. I got it. And I have my mustard. I mean, so let's start with maybe this one right here, beef hot pot. Hopefully these aren't too hot. Ooh, nice and warm though. And they, yeah, like I said, they cooked it upside down. So it actually like kind of cooks the bottom and then the lovely top. But what do you say, maybe the count of like five, five four, four, three, three two, two, one. Eight. Let's go. Mmm. Oh man, yeah. Okay, so this is beef hot pot. Mmm. Oh, that's excellent. Mm. Lovely pastry. Nice texture. Beef, like steak. Mm. And vegetables. It's like beef stew. Mm. That's lovely. Savory pies aren't something I really grew up with, but very good. Whereas the Christmas kind of winter season, pies are a very big thing in the UK. And these are great. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to try that turkey one next. This is the uh, pulled pork dough, barbecue pork, I should say. Mm. Oh, yeah. Actually, very barbecue pork. Pulled pork. Barbecue sauce, very good. Quite sweet. Hmm. It just looks very pleasant. I'm gonna save this one for a little bit because it's very sweet. And I think it's gonna be nice to change it up at later. Um, how about steak and kidney? This sounds interesting. What do you think of that? Kidney? Yeah, if you need it, I'll, I will too. I'm about to. Let's see what it's all about. We got a little gamier gravy. Not bad. Oh, it's quite to my normal palate, but nothing a little English mustard can't add to. I do love me my English mustard. Mm -mm -mm. And the English mustard is good on everything. I love it on vegetables too. Yes. I do. Ladies, I love hot sauce. I really do. I even try a little of this gravy on it. Just try. Not bad. All right. Um, from there, maybe we'll try steak and ale. Which again, is like Guinness and... Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah, potatoes. You very much get that Guinness flavor. And that rich, I don't know what you call it, stouty-ish, you know? I sure like that. Got yeah, not the biggest gravy person, but try it out. Hey everyone, welcome to this video, and welcome to, obviously, a very proper challenge. Yes, here we are, back at the Proper Pie Company, happy to be here, great people, great food, and 
I gotta say, it's always kind of cool to have some true authentic British English kind of flair in North America. So, here I take on the Knight's Quest Challenge. As we have shown, as we have said, this thing is massive. And honestly, this is like the biggest pie challenge I've ever tried. Lemon, no, let's do steak. Where's the steak? Where's the steak to it? This is steak and mushroom. This one's supposed to be kind of creamy. Mmm. Oh my god. Holy crap. Woo! That is. Mmm. You get umami from that mushroom. What else are we doing in the pastry here? Mmm. Mmm. Oh my lord. Did you try this one? Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Woo! There's one thing about that. There is no shortage of butter in it. Butter <laughs> that is rich, man. But something I found, they found out which I thought was really cool. They actually use butter in the pastry. A lot of places don't. They're just like shortening, but here they got some butter in there. Which you can definitely kind of get that flavor. Really nice gist to that. Mm. I tell you what, honestly, no mustard needed for that one, but not calorie free. Woo! Oh, it's heavy. Beef and onion. Mm. Hot damn! That one is. That is my favorite so far. That is damn, 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 damn good. Mm. Okay. Oh, this one's like. Um, So this one's ground beef, steak mint, if you're from the UK. And this one's just very like, excuse me, <coughs> comments to the chef, baker, maker. It's a, what is it, pastry chef? Pastry chef. Something like that. Woo. Got some air in there. Woo wee. But, um, Delicious. The uh, the onion and beef. It's a very familiar flavor to like a North American palate. It reminds me of a burrito. Traditional British burrito right here. So these are some pretty serious sized pies. And I will say on camera, it doesn't really seem to do them justice. Um, but nonetheless, they are about 12 ounces each. So that's pretty sizable. Now with these pies, obviously, as we express, there is an extreme variety of different fillings, extreme variety of different toppings with some seasonal ones, such as the turkey that they had, and then all the others being the main stay. So they had, you know, kind of chicken, they had some vegetable ones, they had some beef ones, which were just so unique. In fact, I would kind of say that what I found what was so unique about these pies is it was almost like having a complete meal, like whether it be like a beef stew or a casserole or a buffalo chicken dip or something like, you know, or a pulled pork sandwich. It was like having a complete meal in one pie. So it was like this really unique, almost like combination fusion, but a lot of these are traditional. Man, these, uh, I'm actually, I'm super impressed, man. This, these pies, I, English Brits, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm just slacking, but these are delicious. Much respect to you guys. Mm. Oh, holy crap. Woo! That was um, steak, potato, onion, and cheese. No, but very good. This one is such a mouthful. If you like cheese, you'd really like it. I'm not a big cheese fan, but this still tastes excellent. Mm. I can't get over the pastry. It's so crusty, so flaky. And then, of course, some were a little, you know, we'll say more Americanized, a little less traditional. But nonetheless, it was really cool to have such a diversity and uh, definitely prevent it any kind of flavor fatigue or getting tired of uh, the flavors of the items. I feel bad. I'm leaving my English mustard there untouched, but like, these are amazing. No, I really was not feeling great 
this day. Like I said, it had been a long time since I'd eaten any bulk kind of challenges, and I was really, really questioning my ability of whether I'd actually even be able to complete this. But armed with some English mustard, and even a little bit of a very uh, authentic kind of English gravy, we headed on into this Again, trying to get ultimately the meal for free. Um, otherwise, we'd be faced about that one hundred and ten or twenty dollar price tag. Shepherd's pie in a pie. One thing which made this challenge so difficult, in addition to just again the sheer volume, this being over ten pounds of pies, is the richness of these items. Now, these are a true, authentic, real pastry. We're talking lots of fat, lots of crispy, heavy shell, and lots of fillings. Ground beef, potatoes, uh, peas and carrots. But believe it or not, a kind of rule called a savory pie was not something I grew up with. In fact, I did not even see a savory pie or hear of a savory pie until I was probably about 11 years old. Where I grew up, um, there was I just never had heard of such a thing. A pie was only for dessert. And it was only when we moved to an area with a very strong European and or specifically French influence that I saw the first kind of minced meat pie, they call it, and not like the fruit but like the kind of shredded meat. I think it was kind of pork, uh, maybe chicken. I don't really know what in it. It's minced meat for a reason. Yeah, it's like shepherd's pie. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yum. All right. Next round of chicken and all that stuff. Let's do uh, maybe chicken curry. This is uh, quite the, uh, like you said, the English curries. There's a flavor I'll never forget. So to go from my like only exposure being extremely limited of basically that, their definition of a mincemeat kind of pie, to see all these savory options was just mind-blowing. Here we go. This one's dense, though, man. Really? This is like... I won't throw it at somebody, but you can you know, get, some good, get some good action on that. Hmm. Curry potatoes. Mm-hmm. The curry sauce tastes like the UK. And that's totally okay. I think we're about 11 minutes in, by the way. Woo! Nice thing these things are so moist and juicy. And it left me thoroughly impressed because these were just so complex. These were so awesome. I was expecting something really kind of basic, but these were everything but basic. Surprisingly heavy. I have my game face on, so. You guys here can see it. I got some real expansion going on. Good thing I did the pants, put it that way. Sure, there were some that were more simple, but it was simplicity at its best. And then again, the ones that were quite a bit dynamic uh, really seemed to be a uh, favorite of a lot of the workers there. Um, and specifically, you know, let's say some of the uh, American-based workers being like the buffalo chicken, which I think is just like very comfortable for a lot of people, um, you know, and or, you know, whatever other flavors they have. But that's pretty much the majority of the information. Again, an extremely large challenge, something I was thoroughly surprised with. And uh, this definitely opened up my mind for savory pies and it's definitely something i would keep an eye out to try again in the future so i'm saving the chicken mushroom because that was an all you steak mushroom that was amazing and delicious and not calorie free none of these are these are legit pies i mean pastries are just something you just gotta gotta love look at that look at that lovely dare i say flaky crispy crust <sighs> oh, excuse me. Woo. All the comments today. Thank you, my friend. Thank you so much. And uh, let's try lemon chicken. Mm. That is very good. It's very pleasant. It's very light. Mm. The lemon's light. That's just shit at you. Mm. Wow. I'm not usually the biggest lemon person, I was very skeptical. But the way this presents in that pot, mm, I like it. 
Now, of course, meat pies or savory pies are definitely a thing in the UK, and that's not just like on a holiday or a special occasion, um, but in like an everyday cuisine, such as like pie and mash. We did a pie challenge in the UK when we were over there. At that though, I'm really curious. Let me know if you are familiar or you grew up with kind of like savory pies. Like, let me know where you live and if that's a thing. Did I grow up in a part of North America which was just void of savory pies for some reason? Or is that a thing in, well, North America and the whole world? Whatever herbs they have in this too. Very enjoyable. So let me know your exposure and experience with savory pies in a comment down below and where you're from. And I look forward to reading them all and so I can learn a little bit about you guys as you obviously learn a little bit about me. Filling up everybody. We got buffalo chicken, chicken and leek, chicken broccoli cheese, chicken and mushroom, and then turkey. Loving my turkey. Turkey's such like a, that's that the holidays. I'd love, love me, love the turkey. You guys doing turkey? You have a turkey this week? Heck yeah. Thank you. Okay. Chicken leek. The leek's very light. Wow. Chicken is very nice and creamy. But at that, let's tune on to this very difficult, extremely, extremely high level challenge. And at that, ultimately, let's see if we can properly get this job done. I feel like I should include some James Bond, you know, kind of thingy thing, but I'm not even gonna try the English accent. Um, also, hot sauce on pies. Just saying, pretty damn good, but that English mustard, ooh wee, that stuff goes well on everything. Um, nonetheless, I digress. That rhymed. At that, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. That being said, I feel, I feel justified whipping out some English mustard on this one. It's a very nice base to add some flavors. Mm. Oh, that is where it's at. Oh man, hot damn. And this is my own jar mustard, don't worry. Literally just came out of my car. Mm. Woo wee, chicken, leek, and English mustard. Mmm, mm, mm, mm. yep. I am, that's a keeper, very, very good. And then there were, I'll call it five. I don't let anybody that one. Ugh. Let's keep trucking though. Woo. These are, these are dense, man. They're really dense. I'm actually very surprised. When I picked them up, it's like, really? They, they look so cute. <laughs> then like I said, you can beat somebody with them. All right, guys, we had the uh, chicken one here with some cheese and onion. Mm. That one's good. Again, not calorie free though, that's for sure. Mm. The broccoli in there is really nice. Mine's like a casserole. I'm gonna have like a broccoli chicken casserole. Mm. Man, I love English mustard. I'm basically out of it though, guys. That's a, that's a shame. Mm. That's so very good. I'll try the gravy on the gam. Try all the flavors. Mm. Not bad. I said that gravy's um, quite nice. Oh, excuse me, comments in the chat. Oh, Ooh. Ooh, well, I better have room for four, so let's do that. Um, well, let's try the buffalo chicken. Oh, yeah, it's very unique. Oh, wow, look, that is red. That is very red. Oh, yeah. That is, uh, like I said, this is a favorite of everybody here, pretty much, so. Mm. That is a nice zest. Creamy. Very creamy. You know this is light? You guys can go around, you guys are good. Um, it's not spicy, but you know what it really, you really, really get? You ever like a, a buffalo chicken dip? That's like really creamy. 
that's what it's like. It's a, like a super creamy buffalo chicken. It's not like uh, not spicy. Very creamy, very rich. Very good though. Maybe maybe a little bit like sour cream cheese, like cream cheese or something or cream. It is very nice. But holy filling. Man, you do not need more than one of these. One of these would fill you out. That one especially. Chicken and mushroom. <coughs> Woo! And then pie, my turkey, and no, you know, we wrote pork. I already had the pork and it was great, so. But I'm gonna finish this off. A little sweetness wouldn't be too bad right now. Chicken and mushroom. And then the last one, turkey. Guys. Ooh. Yeah, those are sitting. They're sitting heavy. I don't know how to get on the plane now. Yeah. Feel bad for me. Yeah. Pity me, yeah, and pity my passengers. Yeah. Sorry, man. <laughs> I choose aisle seats for a reason, we'll put it that way. <laughs> All right. Hope you bought the whole row. Pardon me? I did not. Next time. Maybe maybe one day when I make the big bucks, I'll buy the whole row. But uh, chicken and mushroom. Mm. Rick's creamy, that mushroom again. Everybody has their preferences, but that beef one is pretty damn delicious. I do like me some animals, to put it that way. Speaking of which, Julie's.com, buy yourself some animals. What? Buy you animals, let me say. Buy yourself some merch. You can tell the food's getting me a little bit, buddy. Whew. Last but not least is right. Oh my gosh. Hey, I'm not done yet. Oh, I gotta, no, I gotta get my forward lead going on here. Forward uh, lead? Uh, don't stop and don't stop. What'd you say? Don't stop and don't pop. Don't stop and don't pop. Whew. Uh, all right, guys. Last one. 23 minutes in. Actually, I'm lucky. I'm lucky. These taste so damn good, cause let's just say my uh, my bottom end has been a little weird today. Disney food, you know, after all, I gotta say. And yeah, the small. <laughs> I don't know if it is a small world sometimes. <laughs> Woo! All right, last one, everybody. Turkey. Oh man. Yum. Guys, the uh, the stuffing. Mm. It's like turkey dinner. Is this all the pies, Mark? No, there's two more left. There's two more. I thought it was all. Okay. So if I said earlier, this was the whole menu. I correct myself. This is the whole menu minus two pies. There you go. All right. And if you can eat those two, I'll give you 500 bucks. Wow. The what? The two other pies? Yep. Yeah. Pretty good inside. Yeah, that'll pay for that flight. Uh, <laughs> How do I get myself into situations? Cash is king. Cash is king. Dear God, what kinds are they? Vegetable curry. Okay. Cheese potato. No animals. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Seriously? Yep. Uh, what time is it? Do I have time? 12.50? Uh, 12.15. 15. 15. 15. Okay. Let's do it. Yep. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I got a little time. If you give me 500 bucks, that's pretty cool. <laughs> not for 500 bucks, I doubt it. I don't have any points. 
What's your favorite part of a turkey dinner? Stuffing? That was quick. Wow. Are they hot? Premeditated. Yeah, they're hot. Okay. All right. He had him set? I think he had him. Ah. Is this bland? That was very interesting. That the entire... You had faith. What the... <laughs> Do you still uh, have desserts, too? No. 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 Listen, no. 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 now you're pushing it. I was, I was, yeah, pies are enough. The pies are really enough. Anyway, turkey's good. Yeah, actually, you're right. I guess it's technically I just finished the challenge, so I guess I at least get those for free. This is a bonus. Yeah, now I'll get a bonus round. I swear, this has become a thing. People just want to keep shoving food in my face. It's like they enjoy watching me eat or something. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you guys. I really appreciate the support. Thanks for marketing here, guys. Seriously, the staff are crazy for wanting to feed me more. But the staff are awesome. Like, super, super friendly here. And uh, I really like this place. Haynes City, everybody. Haynes City. Orlando area. Well worth the trip. For some fish and chips and some pies, Ugh. but don't eat 15 or 17. Yeah, that's a lot. All right, cheese, potato, onion, and vegetable curry. I'm probably gonna try to do cheese, potato, onion first because I'm assuming that'll be tougher to eat before I bust. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. It, was, it is nice and warm actually. So I was a little worried there for a second. You know what I'm saying? I'm just kidding. All right, everybody, so it's all about. Whoa. That's hot. This is real hot. Nice flavor on it though. Very, very, very creamy. Go mm. you know up. It's kind of like a garlic mashed potato. Little cheese, little onion. Let's do it. Someone was mentioned laughing out the pot of the ketchup earlier. I will bust out the ketchup in this one occasion. Because potatoes. Potatoes, I think, need ketchup. Those are a good combo. What do you think? No? Always. No? Yes. No ketchup? Always. We don't like ketchup? I like ketchup. Not together? What do you mean? You eat it by itself? No, like without potatoes. What do you like it with? Oh. All right. Do anybody eat pies with ketchup? A little bit. Okay. Hey, well, guess what, my fellow English Brits out there? I'm with, I'm for it. Or tomato sauce, if you want to call it that. But yeah, a little ketchup on some potato pie. Last but not least. The vegetable curry. Ugh. Do you want this one? I'm just kidding. All right, let's finish this up, everybody. Yeah, it cost me 500 bucks. 500 bucks? Oh, shit. Uh, woo! Yep, that is a lot of pie, everybody. Proper pies. Proper pies. Let's see what we can do. Coming on about 31 minutes in. Very hot. But a very unique flavor. It's quite a bit different than the, uh, than the, uh, the chicken curry. Like winter spices in it? Potatoes, maybe spinach. What's all in here, my friend? Spinach, mixed vegetables, potatoes. Heavy, <laughs> heaviness, heaviness, fillingness. Not to mention all the luscious pastry shell. Ugh. All right, buddy. Let's 
Winter spices, guys. Winter spices. Lovely pies. And just in time, because I think Disney's coming back to bite me. But that everyone, thanks for the proper pie cow. If I gave up now, I should have gave up at 15, you know what I'm saying? So, cheers, everybody. Yeah, cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. mate. Yeah. 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 And we're finished right there. Woo! About uh, 33, I think about a half, about 33 and a half minutes. Woo wee guys! Well, no. Even if there is more cash involved, I ain't doing it. <laughs> Even I have cut off, so I have limits. That was enough. What'd you say? Uh, I love my English mustard, but no. I wouldn't put it on a fruit pie. What's everybody? Oh, and we, yeah, we have a doctor here somewhere. Holla! So thanks for coming out. Again, I really feel bad for everybody on that plane with me tonight. I'll play that way. That being said, guys, again, huge thanks to Proper Pie Co. These were excellent. I'm not going to lie, when I heard pies, I was like, really? But really, man, like, th there's some that really, 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 really stood out for me. Some that were just honestly mind blowing. And I didn't know a pie could really encapsulate such an experience. But you really should try it. Because, again, again, maybe it's just where I grew up, but growing up within North America, I don't know, savory pies, you might get like a minced meat pie or something, like not like the fruit minced meat, like the, the English do, but like a actual kind of ground meat, pulled meat thing. But they're nothing like this. This is a flavorful, these are actually super exciting. Yes, that is the proper word. And I think that I need to include is exciting. These pies were very exciting. And uh, every different flavor and every pie offered a new bite. What was your favorite one? I think my absolute favorite if I had to pick one, just one, was the steak and mushroom. That one was mind-blowingly good. It was so rich and savory, absolutely not calorie-free, but in the best way possible. It was lovely. Like I said, it could taste like the butter and everything in there, like these like nice sautéed mushrooms, that umami. Very, very delicious. The turkey is very nice, although at that point I was so full, and I am so full that I kind of lost all my emotion, I'll put it that way. Huge thanks to everybody again who came out to watch. Thank you guys, really appreciate you. But no, seriously, thanks to them. Thanks to Proper Pie Co. Totally recommend. Um, you guys have fish and chips, how was it? Excellent. Good as a year ago? Fabulous. Fabulous, good as a year ago. If I wasn't so full, maybe I'd try to get one, but I'm, I'm literally about to bust. And I don't want to be swimming with the fish, I'll put it that way, so. And that everyone, of course, until next time, say happy, I'll be hungry, happy eating. Maybe we'll actually get 500 bucks out of this. That sounds kind of cool. Maybe. But uh, if not, I'll take the free meal, guys. The, the people are so nice anyway. Even though they totally, totally, totally planned that on me. Because those pies were done. And I know they take like 20 minutes to make. But hey, that being said, that was super kind of them. Um, and we technically ate the whole pie menu. So till next time, everybody. That's it. And uh, English mustard. Shout out to English mustard as well. So till next time, everybody. That. Literally, goodbye. There's my, there's my, there's my pie belly. You know, people say they got a bun in the oven, I got a pie belly. Everybody, the time has come. Not for me to shave my head, for you to subscribe. So click my face right here, subscribe, click one of these two videos I picked just for you. And exciting news, we also have a new channel. So if you wanna watch challenges, raw, uncut, so you get to hear what the audience says, hear my real thoughts, opinions, noises, etc. link down below, Joel Hanson Raw. So check that out, appreciate y'all. Until next time, well, I'll see you in a minute. Click one of these videos.